Grinder, grinder tips, grinder tips. Uh, a lot of people ask about these things. I'm going to show something real quick. I have two. I have this old Flash Star, a uh, All Star, okay, and I also have a Superstar 2 that I use quite a bit uh, when I'm grinding for doing copper foil work. The nice thing, interesting thing about the grinders, you know, the grinders came out sometime in the mid-70s, and uh, it enabled people that didn't have a lot of skill to be able to do high-quality or fairly good-quality stained-glass copper foil work. And in a lot of cases, you know, it's actually grinders have come to the point of where they're replacing grazing, meaning chewing the glass off to make it fit, uh, have less chance of breakage. Now... The bits that, that come on these things come in different grits. Uh, sometimes if you get a standard grinder and a standard bit, uh, you get a lot of chipping. Okay, These, uh, this is a twofer. Can we see this? Uh, yeah, this is a twofer. Right now I have a 170 grit on that grinder. Okay, that's a good... Uh, medium grit it removes easily it doesn't do a lot of chipping if at all three-quarter inch bit they come with uh, like I say in different sizes these people make a ripple bit jewelry bit speed bits etc etc uh, it's not bad you know they're not a bad quality bit uh, for the grinders you should probably get about oh maybe 300 or so hours out of out of using one of these things a lot. Uh, I don't use grinder coolant in my grinders. I just use plain water. Uh, I have found that over the years, you know, like the grinder coolant is something that if you don't know any better, you go into a stained glass store and you're getting set up where you need to have this, you need to have this, you need to have this, and you really don't need to have that. It really doesn't do anything other than maybe put an extra coating of crap on the glass that you have to wash off in order to get the foil to stick. So. It's really an extra thing. This is a second story work surface. And if you get a grinder like this, these things are indispensable. I'm going to do a close up because I want you to see what you can do with a second story work surface. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully this stays in frame because. You know, when I'm doing specialty jobs like this this little thing, you can see what I have to grind off of here. Okay. I've glued the pattern to the glass. Okay. I've glued the pattern to the glass in this case. So I can use the... I've already gone over the outside edge with the grinder on the bottom. Okay. So I'm not cutting my right now. This is a special piece. Unfortunately, I can't show the pro show you the project that this is going into, but. Yeah, you know, you could probably do cuts like that. Let's get a better, let's get a better frame here. Move the camera. All right. I'm at right here. Yeah, you could probably do this with a saw, more than likely. But uh, for the setup and everything that I do, you know, it's just as easy for me to use the grinder to get... To get this kind of shape. That's what the second story work surface does. Now, that you can get, this is a quarter inch bit. Uh, this is an eighth inch bit. All right, for really tight inside curves. Okay, so it's just easier for me to use the grinder to, to be able to do a shape like that. Okay, specialty, uh, special effects grinding is what you could call it. Usually I'm wearing uh, like a finger cot. Uh, which are these things. 
okay and uh, I have unfortunately I've worn these out okay I have worn shredded them and last time I was at Wally World uh, I forgot to get more so I'm just using my bare fingers if I happen to grind down my fingernails that's okay they grow back so you know these are some grinder tips of things that you can get it's just as easy for me to use a second story work surface and I have these things on foot pedals I've had them on foot pedals for you ever okay. gotta make a little indentation like that if I want a square edge a square I can do that. That's fairly square for me, at least for what I'm using it for. Let me move this. Okay. And I know a lot of people go, you know, my grinder's making a noise. Well, it's a grinder. It's going to be making noise. And sometimes, you know, you can wear out the bearings in your grinder by pushing so hard that it stops. You do that on a continuing basis. And uh, eventually, you wear out the bearings. Now, yeah, this is making a little noise. I think this one's probably about 10 years old. Okay, it's way out of warranty, but I try to make them last as long as I possibly can. So, thank you, God bless, and have a good day. Bye-bye.